what are the chances of meeting a lion while on walking on the streets? <laughs> this country by the name uh, Trinidad. Trinidad. Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah. You know it? I want you to name one country in the world with a game park at the city center. Nairobi. Nairobi. Kenya, Kenya Nairobi. <laughs> no my city, my town. Nairobi. Welcome back to my vlogs. My name is Gossi Africa. So today we are in the capital city of Kenya and I want to give you the exact picture. I'm painting the exact picture about this green city below the sun, Nairobi. So I want to take you around the streets and show you what happens during weekdays, yeah, during daytime. So uh, to be specific, we are somewhere next to Bazaar Plaza, which is in Moy Avenue. Then on the other side, we have the Jamia Mosque. So we're going to take our rounds around this city and show you what goes on here. Basically, this is an area uh, more inhabited by the the Muslim community. I don't know what the connection between uh, this lane, Kigali Lane, and uh, Rwanda. Now that Kigali is the capital city of Rwanda, so it's around 2 p.m. and uh, many guys are getting back to the. Uh, Offices, yeah, they are leaving from lunchtime. I don't know whether this happens to every in every country. Whenever it's lunchtime, everyone breaks, so everyone breaks for lunch. For one hour, most guys would, would prefer uh, leaving at 12 to 1 p.m. Then others will leave at uh, 1 p.m. to 2. So comment down below. Tell us what happens in your country. That is the famous city market. So expect us to go to this side. So we headed to Kenyatta Avenue. Let's see what takes place in the streets. So we have Kigali road here again we still need to find out why these streets is called Kigali Lane how is it related to Rwanda hello sir how are you Yes, you make a unique observation which I probably haven't noted. Comment. Yeah. In most cases, I miss some crucial points while um, in the process of filming. So that is Kenyatta Avenue. 
Kenyatta was the, the founding father of the country, the first president of Kenya. How are you? I'm fine. Yeah, what's your uh, name? My name is Collins Naika. What? Naika Collins. Naika Collins. Yes. Tell us, um, why should people uh, visit Nairobi? What is so unique about Nairobi? Nairobi? Yeah. What's unique about Nairobi? Yeah. What's that special about Nairobi? Nothing. As a foreigner, why should I visit Nairobi? You as a foreigner? Yeah, as a foreigner. Lead environment. Yeah, something else. Something else. Yeah, you know, Kenya is just light hearted people. Light hearted? Yes. What, what do you mean with that? They are good people. They are good people? Yeah, with their good hearts. Sure? 100%. Are you good hearted? Yes. Can you take a photo for me, uh, of me for free? I can. <laughs> you can? Yes. <laughs> So that is what you mean by good at it? Uh, no, yeah. not only by taking you, a free photo. Can you give me money for free? Money? Yeah. When I have, I give it. Oh, you give it? Uh, but to, oh. to the needy, not to... Uh, not, not someone like me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I like that. Yes. I, I like that. Yes. Yeah, something else. Something else about Nairobi? Uh, something about Nairobi. Hmm? Why is Nairobi referred to as the green city below the sun? Green city below the, below the sun. sun. When you go to Google or to YouTube, uh, they describe Nairobi as the green city below the sun. Green city below the sun. Yeah. <laughs> now that's one. Uh, that's hard for you. Somehow. Not yeah. hard, but somehow. Um, help me uh, mention one country in the world with the national park at the city center. One country? Yeah. Kenya. Kenya, yes. yeah, true. It's the only country. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Okay. Yeah. Let, let me do whatever I'm doing here. I'm, I'm showing them Nairobi. Yeah? Yes. So tell us, who, who is Kenyatta? Kenyatta. Uh, Can I see Kenyatta Avenue? Uh, this is Kenyatta, named after the first president of Kenya. The first president of Kenya. Uh, he was called Jomo Musei. Musei Jomo Kenyatta. Yeah. Then uh, we have Muni Bing. Those who are freedom fighters. Or freedom fighters. Yes. The Mau Mau. Mau Mau fighters. Yeah. So, uh, Kimati, uh, yeah. And so many. Yeah, was your grandfather a Mau Mau? not So, you guys never fought for independence. <laughs> you guys never fought for independence. Yeah? My grandfather. There's something else you never told, up, uh, never told us. You know, in Africa, in the world, it's only in Nairobi where we have this kind of buses, the Matatu. Mm. Yeah, the Matatu culture. It's only found in Nairobi. See this guy wanna appear. Bro, tell us why someone wanna wanna visit Nairobi. Someone who has never been to Nairobi. Why should they come to Nairobi? What's so unique about Nairobi? Uh, Nairobi is the craziest part in Kenya. What? Craziest. craziest. Why why are you saying so? People, people staying here, they are crazy. This guy is saying that Nairobi is the craziest city we have uh, in Africa. In Africa. Yeah. So maybe uh, just look at this guy and describe uh, his craziness. Maybe he's crazy somehow. <laughs> look at this there. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Kelvin Mose, but I call myself Kingstar Falman. King? Kingstar. Kingstar yeah. Falman. Yeah. You are in any social media platform? Yeah, Instagram, IG. Hey, market Facebook, yourself. Facebook and YouTube. Facebook and YouTube? Yeah. Kingstar. Kingstar Falman. Yeah, make sure you subscribe to his channel, Kingstar Falman. Yeah. On YouTube. Yeah. So, what, what's that unique? Something is apart from being, being crazy. Uh, Nairobi is the cleanest. I say, I can say it's, it's clean. clean. Yeah. It is clean. Let me show that. So it's okay, clean for sure. It's clean with some clean people. Also infrastructure. Some beautiful ladies there. Yeah, our infrastructure is dope. Yeah. We have a dope infrastructure. Yeah, we have the Nairobi Expressway. We have the uh, SGR. The SGR, the standard gauge yeah. railway. Many, many of them. The roads are perfect. The roads are perfect. Yeah. We have uh, high end skyscrapers in the city. Yeah, we have the buildings you can see. Mm. I want you to name one country in the world with a game park at the city centre. Nairobi. Nairobi. Kenya, Kenya Nairobi. <laughs> There's no other one. Yeah. I think it's only Nairobi. It's only Nairobi. We have a park here around the Nairobi National Park. Uh -huh. It's a few kilometers from here. Yeah. yeah, someone told me that we pay around 50 bob from this place. Yeah, from That's this half a dollar. Yeah, that place. It's an half a dollar. Half a dollar. Yeah. yeah. So, why do you call this city as the green city below the sun? Uh, 
I don't have that reason for that. So I can't explain that. Maybe it's because of this, uh, the green plants here. Yeah. That's the reason. It, Nairobi city is also green. You can see green. the vegetation and whatever. It's, mm. it's a green city. Mm. What are the chances of someone walking at the street then meeting a lion? No, 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 no. They are the <laughs> keyword. <laughs> just the keyword. Tell me, use Swahili. Uh, 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 no, this, no, this guy <laughs> talked a very good English. Yeah. <laughs> So you can't, you can't find it here. We have the KWS mm -hmm. authorities, so they are just... They are doing their job yeah. well. So, uh, th does it mean that you on your YouTube, you use Swahili only? On my YouTube, I use Swahili. Yeah, you I use Swahili? Use, I use Swahili, yeah, because I sing. Uh, so, you, oh, you target the yeah, Kenyan I sing, audience? I think Swahili, the East African. You are a musician? I'm a musician. I'm oh, an actor. which kind of music do you sing? I do uh, spoken word. Spoken word? Yeah. Can you try maybe? Maybe do you have one in English? Probably. I have in, no, I don't have one, anyone in English, but I have in Swahili. Maybe you can. We can, we can try one in Swahili. Yeah, why not? Yeah, please do. Semi ni uchawi, semi ni nguvu zandumba. Na mi ni posi kuta kwa marufu kaka numba. Na miri kima gari, hela na majumba. Tavimba kasi pako na mimba. Sito bate na mitumba. Seti staki kuwa, nogo pa majukumu. Ni Nairobi maisha mekuwa magumu. Kama mi mwenye metajangu sezi vya kimu. Ivo na zani mi kunyandoa nta dumu. Taba kitu na jirao. Oja kwa zani butendo. Hey, that's a good one, bro. Yeah. That's a good one. Go, go ahead and subscribe to his channel. You're yeah. doing a good job. Sana. Yeah? Good. Thank you, bro. Yeah, thanks. I'm in security. So basically, that guy is telling me uh, you have to give something little. This is Kenyan. I have to bribe. Oh, we have some music there, so I need to avoid that direction. I don't want to get copyrighted. I don't know what the meaning of this, but we have um, one of my friends who called himself the details. Details. An art teacher. And a ma member of county assembly, Makwene county assembly. So I don't know where that came from. Meanwhile, we are crossing Kenyatta Avenue. Now we're going to some other sections here within Kenyatta. So I want to meet someone different and ask them why we call Nairobi the green city below the sun and what are the chances of meeting a lion while walking on the streets. Bro, how are you? Tell me your name. S -ban. Yeah. Musana. So tell me, why do you guys call Nairobi the green city below the sun? Green city below the sun. Because uh, Nairobi city are so safe. Yeah? Then uh Okay, ask me another question. That is uh I want you to mention one country in the world uh with a game park at the city center. Oh, by, by the way, Nini, uh, Nairobi is one of these. The only yeah. country in the Panayo. Yeah, uh, Nairobi is the only country with a uh, game park at the city center. Nairobi uh, game park. Uh, then, what are the chances of someone meeting a lion? Now that you, are, you have uh, a game park at the city center, what are the chances of meeting the lion on the city? Chances are slim. Chances are slim? Chances are slim. Why? Actually, I think uh, it's because the uh, wild animals have been trained. They have been trained? They have been trained. No, the there is a difference between uh, the animal orphanage and the game park. Like, I think the security. Oh. The security. Let's assume the guys there are doing their work, yeah, the rangers. Yes. So, why we have that someone out there, they wish to visit Nairobi. Why should they visit Nairobi? The culture, culture, uh, the, uh, culture, the buildings, like basically everything about Nairobi. Nairo can, oh, wow, what, so what's so unique about the culture? Pictures. Actually, what I think that's uh, let's uh, not the culture that you are referring to, but 
let's say the matatu culture oh matatu culture yeah. matatu are the buses these yeah. buses the public transport vehicles actually these are not these are not the ones i'm referring to but there are other ones wow. ah the other ones nganya nganya oh the the pimped vehicles yeah the pimped vehicles yeah the one so with like loud this, music yes that is some culture it's, it represents uh, a so, way of life so unique yeah. we don't have another maybe in africa do you have yeah. another country practicing the same no no we don't have there are even celebrities coming to kenya just because of that to bore to bore those matatus yes. oh that's that's so good we have anything else security, security in the country is good Politics. Politics. <laughs> what? This guy is laughing whenever he mentions politics. So, maybe you have a story about politics. I don't do politics. Let me tell you why you should get into politics. Through politics, you got that opportunity to be filming in these streets without someone questioning you. The governor, the Nairobi governor, allowed you to film in the streets. Is, is it politics or democracy? Oh, no, that's politics. That's politics. How 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 yeah. does it come in? That's a political leader who gave out the that no, directive. It's not. It's not my right to to film. It's not my right to film here. It's your right to film uh -huh. when you are paying. Uh -huh. You filming for free. Uh -huh. Yeah. No one is questioning you. Do you think you're not paying? Yeah. Do you think you're not? Paying? You are not. I know you are paying the taxes. Not taxes, but if you think you don't think you are paying. Now, how do you pay? You have a receipt? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a receipt, bro. Uh -huh. This guy is a director, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm a director. Oh, you never told us your name. Oh, yes. I'm Kabari, a photographer and videographer. You can reach me on Instagram specifically or call me. Uh, should I say my number? Uh, let, let them meet you on your yes. Instagram, then Instagram. maybe can, someone can call you direct. That is Nairobi. And guys, they are so friendly. It feels good here yeah, interacting with the, these boys at the street. They're not appreciating politics. We love politics. Politics is life. Yeah? Just look at the skyscrapers. Tall ones. Yeah, bro. Someone told you about Nairobi. I don't want to guess the, street, the, the stories they gave you, but today I'm, getting, I'm giving you the real life about these streets of Nairobi. So that is Koinange Street to that direction. Bro, we have a discussion a bit, bro. No why, why do you think? Um, Nairobi is called the green city below the sun. It's uh, why do I think uh, Nairobi is called green city below yeah. the sun? When you go to uh, the Google, YouTube, they describe Nairobi as the green city below the sun. I'd say my thought, though, I don't know if it's true, but I'd say this is what I'm thinking. Yeah. I'd say it's because our city is very clean and it's full of life, like it's full of uh, vegetation. And, we, and we, we are the only park, uh, we only like we are the, the only can, county can, in, uh, in, uh, in, in Africa that has uh, like a uh, national park uh, between and, the and the city center. Yeah, oh, that's good. Yeah. So, what are the chances of meeting a lion while on walking on the streets? <laughs> no, you are you can't, uh, of course, they are protected, but uh, you can't meet a lion uh, uh, <laughs> like here now, uh -huh. but <coughs> because they are secure. Oh, they are secure, yeah. Oh. Ah, that's good. Yeah. Then that is uh, that's some that's someone who has never been to Africa. Yeah, that's some. Tell them why why should they visit Africa? 
What's so good about Nairobi? Uh, you should come to our city and come see the diversity we have here. Like uh, people, different people, different cultures, and yeah, you can you come and see different like different things that maybe you you, you may have not uh, seen there. We may have them here. That's a good one. Yeah. You have a social media platform. Maybe you wanna market yourself. Yeah, I'm Robin Media Two Five Four everywhere. That is Instagram, TikTok, yeah. and Facebook. This guy is doing is doing media. Yeah. He has a very classic camera. Yeah, some good stuff. Yeah. yeah. So, um, are you a fan of reggae? A uh, fan of reggae. Reggae. No, just a little one here and there. Yeah. I can say. Tell, tell me, there, there is this country by the name uh, Trinidad. Trinidad. Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah. You know it? I've heard of it. Oh, what did you hear about Trinidad and Tobago? Um, I heard it in it's okay, I think if I'm not sure, if if I'm not wrong, it's maybe in Jamaica, somewhere near Jamaica. Yeah, sure. It's, in it's, the Caribbean. Yeah. So it's uh, a part of it as a country where people go and enjoy like seas and the, the beaches and what those kind of stuff. That's a good one. Yeah. Bro, that's so real. <laughs> that's so real. Yeah. So, uh -huh. uh, we are we have been having this carnival which just ended. Okay. The carnival, whereby people uh, flock to the city. Yeah. Yeah, and have a good time. Yeah. Yeah, they party. Everyone. It's like a national celebration. Yeah, I have yeah. a music here. Okay. I want to tell you whether you to, to ask you whether you know the music. Okay. Let me let me search for it. It's a reggae. You told me you know reggae. Aha. Uh -huh. We wanna play this song. I get to, to know whether this guy for sure is a good uh, pa fan of reggae. Yeah. And whether he loves uh, he loves Trinidad and Tobago. I've heard of it, but I can't tell you the name of the song. But, you, you, but still, you can't sing. I can sing. Calypso, just there. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Um, uh, Calypso is the, the kind of music practices uh, practiced in Tobago. Yeah, Tobago, yeah. in Trinidad and Tobago. Mm -hmm. So I have another another one, probably by the same guys. Let me check. Let me check. <laughs> so, yes, the turbines. Oh, we have it here. Yet. <laughs> this guy is a raster man, man. Ah. I got uh, you could understand all these songs. I'm not out of it, oh my. Bro, you you you, you, you understand reggae, right? Uh, <laughs> let let me play this song for you. Maybe you know it. No, someone is standing in the tavern. Standing in the tavern. Oh, then we have this one. Calypso. Yeah, you know it? Can you sing? See you, okay. Ah, no, just no, no. a bit, just a bit. In this island of... Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Uh, yeah. So we are crossing Kenyatta Avenue again. Now I headed to Koinange Street. I'm tempted to, to upload this uh, video and edit it. I wanna post it raw. This is the popular Koinang. So, what did you hear about Koinang? If you never heard about Koinang, just Google Koinang Street and tell us what you get from the internet. So, it's here Koinang Street. 
just google there and uh, tell us what you got from the internet then we can take it from there next time meanwhile my name is Gossi Africa I'm a traveler and a youtuber based in Nairobi Kenya Africa whoever is not watching this uh, video for the first time if they watching me for the first time kindly subscribe to my channel get me to 5,000 subscribers So I'm going to end this video here Kindly I would like you to comment and like the video Yeah, let me know how you found the video How was it? How was my interaction with the, these boys at the streets? Did you like it? Just be genuine Say everything Yeah Anything you learn in the streets, whatever you observed, that maybe I never observed, kindly say it. Then get me to 5,000 subscribers. That means you subscribe. Goodbye.